In this video, a sneak peek from the newly relaunched Adjust Your Talk podcast with Chris Stanley, Jason Heenan, and Brad Fancher, hear tales of the brokest moments these guys had when they were starting their claims careers. Starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters. Joining NACA will provide you with the resources you need to build a lasting career as a claims professional at adjustertv.com slash NACA. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Adjuster TV, where we help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. In this clip, our panelists answer the question, what was your brokest moment as an IA? You can watch the entire podcast for free right now at adjustertvplus.com. What is the brokest moment you've had while being an IA? <laughs> Oh, man, Chris, there's so many times, uh, especially at the beginning of the career, you know, um, at the beginning of any career, it seems like you should be no stranger to being broke. It's never easy. So the uh, let me zoom out for a second before we jump into the question to say, whenever you uh, are getting into something new, you just need to set the expectations of the first year is going to be more challenging and different just because you have to learn and do different things you have to change your lifestyle probably who you hang out with and uh, just your daily habits so the first year is never good second point before i answer the question is this um i don't know of a business that is cheaper to get into if you train have a laptop uh you know your startup costs are really just your ladder, your laptop, your regular fields, you know, your either your field equipment that you need to take measure, just or whatever you choose to do. Um, and you can do lot, uh, it can be light. There's not a better career to get started on, is what I'm saying. So the answer is I was broke when I got started, no doubt about it. And the brokest I was was in 2006. Um, I had I released myself, which was a mistake from a Hurricane Rita in 2005 and took three and a half months off, was listening to all the wrong people about how uh, the career, you know, six months on and six months off. Well, that all works well as long as you save money. I, of course, love to spend money. So um, was super duper broke living in Texas, had not worked in three and a half months was on unemployment and searching, got the call that, uh, in 2006 to go to Seattle. And um, the car broke down, wouldn't you know it, on about the mm -hmm. fifth inspection when the whole motor had to be replaced. So I had to borrow money uh, from two different people, one, to get the uh, automobile, uh, you know, the motor replaced, and two, to afford the motel room uh, just until the following payday. It was a pretty scary time. And I can tell you that had that storm not happened, which is how it always seems it, uh, it would go, um, I don't think financially it would have been good from there. So that is my story. Hmm. And that's awesome. That's a good story. All right, Brad. Uh, good luck okay. following that up. Brad, what's your brokerage yeah. moment in being an IA? Man, Jason set the bar pretty high. Um, well, honestly, um, I have not yet had a broke moment. Um, my my way into the to the industry, uh, you know, is pretty unique. Maybe we'll get into that later. But um, yeah, I haven't had a broke moment yet. Um, I mean, there's been some slim moments, you know, when you first get started, uh, which you know is to like Jason said, that's that's just part of it. But um, a lot of moments where I was battling fear, you know, uh, fear of not having enough, fear of of you know. Gosh, that's probably still there, even after three and a half years, just, you know, am I doing a good job? Uh, you know, there's things unique in this industry 
a lot of times they don't, you know, care firms don't really, <laughs> they don't really talk to you unless you're doing a bad job. So, um, you know, occasionally they'll reach out, but yeah, just, just a lot of scary moments, I guess. And maybe, maybe I created them in my mind. Um, but, uh, whew, thankfully I haven't, I haven't been broke yet. So. Well, you are very, very fortunate. And I think yeah. other people want to know how in the world you haven't had a broke moment and make, like you said, maybe you can incorporate that into later sure. your money getting started. Sure. Um, so I'll go ahead now. Uh, if I could just pick one moment, that'd be amazing. But I've been broke a lot. Uh, <laughs> and I am quite the opposite of Brad Fancher. Uh, uh, but there's really two times that I feel like were the brokest moments I've ever had. One was uh, nine years ago. I posted on LinkedIn yesterday because I was thinking about this episode coming up. Nine years ago, my wife and I and our four-year-old at the time were sleeping in a tent in Harvey, Louisiana for a hailstorm. We couldn't afford a hotel, so wow. we were sleeping in a tent uh, at a campground, luckily. So we had showers and all that. Uh, the CEO of the company that had hired us uh, was worried with my boss, like, well, he, he's running our whole shop. I got a promotion while I was there, and he's sleeping in a tent. Like, does he shower? Like, well, what are you doing? Like, why are you promoting this guy? And, uh, and so that was one really, really broke moment where we really couldn't afford it. And we did get a hotel for a few nights because it was supposed to hail there were cockroaches everywhere and we slept with the lights on. It was that bad. Uh, and then the other one was the day a little later that year, the day my um, son was born June 14th, um, nine years ago, uh, the company, that same company collapsed, disappeared, took everybody's money that they owed for payroll for months back. And I had $212. If I am scarred the right way and remembering that number, something like that, $200 in the bank with a newborn that was literally born that morning, our pay check didn't come out. And I found out that morning is gone. So that's my brokest uh, two IA moments. So there was another time we had to borrow money from a crooked lender through the internet, like one of those paycheck advance things done that before. So I've had How'd a lot you guys of get moments. that on track. That's a whole nother story, Jason. I ain't got time for it. We, I got to keep you on track. I got to keep right. you on track. That, that's a whole another story for another day. Or Brad said on LinkedIn, it's a book. Well, you need that in a book or something. <laughs> okay, right. fair enough. All right, we're going to transition now. To, so now you guys hear that we know what we're talking about to some extent about being broke and money. And uh, we've been through it. We've been through the gamut between the three of us. And so the real question today that we want to answer for you is how much money does an IA need before getting started? Get this question answered right now by watching the entire podcast for free at adjustertvplus.com. And thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Except for bears. Bears will kill you dead.